Welcome back to Best SEOG, the only channel that gives you content regarding digital marketing. Here we cover topics, for example, SEO, search engine marketing, social media marketing, content marketing, email marketing, etc. If you're new to this channel, subscribe and hit the bell notification button so that every time we release new content, you're notified. In today's session, we are going to look at how you can set up your WordPress, your Yoast SEO WordPress plugin and be able to rank number one on Google. Yes, I just said rank number one on Google. Watch this video until the end and trust me, by the end of this video, you'll be able to go and configure your Yoast SEO WordPress plugin. It's not a magic tool, but it can bring your website to top of the search results. Let me head on my computer right now and show you how this works. Hello, digital marketers. In this session, we are going to look at how we can configure the Yoast SEO plugin and be able to rank number one on Google. So right here is my desktop wallpaper or background, and I'm diving into today's session right away. In this video, you're going to learn how to rank your post and optimize your website as well. So we are going to do each and everything with this plugin because it does magic. However, it's not everything that you need to rank number one on Google, but it's enough for your brand to beat your competitors out there. So I've already logged into my dashboard and this is from scratch. So for starters, we are going to install Yoast on this website, though it's already installed. So what I'm going to do is um, I'll show you how to install a plugin. So you go plugins and go to add new. Okay. So you go to add new. And uh, once this window loads, then you go to add new plugin. So my internet is slow, but we are good to go as usual. Where I'm staying currently, my internet connection is very slow, but all we have to is good content, and this is a good content. So here the search plugins text field and type in um yoast okay so it will take a second then it's right here apparently mine is active and it's running so if you haven't yet installed one you're just going to install it and then activate so after you've activated your plugin then you come down here this will be able to show up, all right? So once this shows up, we are going to move the configuration process. Now, this is the latest version of Yoast, and it displays differently from the last version that we're using, whereby we had to configure it up from here, and it used to show configuration, but now it's workouts, okay? So you have to go to Yoast here, or SEO, then go to workouts, Um, so you head to workouts right here, then we shall start the configuration process. So, once this loads up, then you have to scroll down and you can see where to the configuration tab. Okay, so one it says configure your SEO, then configure your SEO in a few steps, apply the ultimate SEO settings to your site. So continue to work out and here we have one over the five steps completed. So we have to go to continue work out and this one, it says uh, the first bullet means optimize SEO data. Then click the button below to optimize SEO data. It will let us see your site as Google does, so we can give you the best SEO tips and improve technical SEO issues in the background. If you have a lot of content, the optimization may take a while, but trust us, it's worth it. So go ahead and click the button here and optimize your data, avoid optimized mine, then scroll down after that step and say continue right here. And step two says site representation, so you must represent your site. So this site tell Google what kind of site you have and increase the chance it gets featured 
in Google Knowledge Panel. Select organization if you're working on a site for business or an organization. Select person if you have, say, a personal blog. So for this case, this is an organization. So you can go ahead and choose a person if it's an individual website. So it's no big deal. So I will choose organization and I'll put the name of the organization as this text field says. Then this part, you go ahead and put your logo. So I've already put my logo in. And uh, site tagline, of course, this is your slogan for the business. For instance, you put it right here. And it says, add a catchy tagline that describes your site. In the best light, use the keywords which with which you want people to find you. Okay. So you can find a keyword that you want people to find you, maybe your slogan and whatsoever. So my slogan is breaking news every day. And you save and continue. So number three is social profile. So you go ahead to your social media platforms and copy the URLs of your pages or Facebook profiles or whatsoever and Twitter. So you fill them in here in the social media sp uh, space. Okay, so you also have a couple of them. If you have a YouTube channel, you copy the link of your channel and put it right here. Okay. So if you have a Wikipedia URL, you copy it and put it here, then save and continue. And uh, if you want to help these guys to improve your state CEO, so you can read through and they'll ask you, yeah, can you collect anonymous information about your website and how you use it of course say no but if you want you can say yes it's no crime so if you finish this up you go ahead and continue save and continue then number five we have sign up for the us newsletter so you, you can put your email address and then you sign up it's very easy then you finish that work out so just click finish this workout if you've done um all the changes necessary so once you finish them there, they'll tell you congratulations. Amazing, you've successfully finished the configuration workout. Just now output essential structured data for your website. Make sure you also check out our other SEO workouts really get your site into shape. So that's that. You can go ahead and click this link to check out their other SEO workouts. But what we've done is enough to get us going so after i've done the workout or the configuration process we have to head back here to general settings okay under seo so go to general and once you head to general you see a couple of uh, things that need us to set up one uh when you head to general, you're going to see dashboard, features, integrations, webmaster tools, okay? Um, in this case, we are going to look at all of them as they are in order so, so that I can break down for you. One, dashboard, okay? So you can see dashboard, you have no problems, but if you have any problems, you just will inform me that you have a problem here. And you have any notifications, you get a notification right there. Remember, we are using the free version of Yoast, so that's why we have upgrade to Yoast SEO Premium. But the free version is enough, so you can go to, you can click this link to get the Yoast SEO Premium version. It's around $89, I'm not sure, but you can get the official website and confirm. So when you head to features right here, uh just seo comes with a lot of features you can enable disable some of them below clicking the question mark gives you more information about the feature so what do we do for example seo analysis remember this is required when we are optimizing pages posts and categories so if you don't want it you can put it off but leave it as it is and this size the seo analysis offers suggestions to improve your seo of the text so you can click this link um, to learn more about it. So when you click it, it will open up in a new tab and you'll learn more about what SEO analysis is all about. 
and the same thing with readability analysis now readability analysis helps us write good content and high quality content for seo by following the right criteria for example we look at things like sentence length a passive voice uh subheadings in our content flesh reading so etc 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 um then we have cornerstone content then text link counter okay now cornerstone content what does it say here the cornerstone content feature lets you to mark and filter cornerstone content so this is more so the most important content on your website so you can click the link here and find out more just like this one that we just opened up in a new tab about the Yoast SEO analysis what content analysis tool something like that all right um then insights this is in the premium version as you can see then link suggestions also in the premium so you can upgrade premium version to get these features okay then xml site maps in this project we shall be looking at how we can submit xml site maps to the google search console and as well how we can submit the site map the robots.txt file so to see the site map of your website just click this link see xml sitemap and it open up as well in a new tab so this tab is the tab is done loading and you can see how to use your ccs content analysis tool so you can go ahead and read through all this information and everything that you need to know about this is right here i'll make a video about the seo content analysis tool in my next a uh, few videos to come so let's get back here and i just clicked on the seo um site map so this is the xml site map for this website as you can see yeah then let's head back here admin bar menu you can put it off so it's advisable you leave everything as it is right there so we shall move to if you've made any changes then go ahead and click save but i've not made any changes here so i'll leave everything to default then i'll get back up here then we shall move to integrations okay and here i'll leave everything as it is but we have yes yes you can integrate with third party products you can enable or disable these integrations for example you can integrate yours with same rush then winter then write okay this very simple etc 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 others are in the premium version then if you put any off and go ahead and save changes then we have webmaster tools okay now webmaster tools this is now called google search console so when you head to a new tab right here and type in um web okay master tools master tools and then hit enter on your keyboard you can see now this is now google master tools and it's now called google search console so you can read about them here and they say google search console is a web service by google which allows web masters to check indexing status and optimize visibility of their websites until 20th may 2015 the service was called google web master tools so you can see it was until 20th may 2015 that's when it changed to google search console and they stopped calling it google webmaster tools in january 2018 google introduced a new version of the search console which changes the user interface so we shall also look at this okay but let's continue with this window and uh, we have under webmaster tools we have uh by do verification code so we are this is when we submit this website to different search engines for example by do being google yandex okay and to do this is pretty 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 simple so all you have to do for example with google you have to just go to google search console hit that link it open up in a new tab very fast okay and uh uh so when you click on uh this link right here that we just clicked on of the google search console we are brought up here and now you can see we have different verification methods and we have recommended method and alternative method so we shall look at a few of them and majorly i i always use the html tag because it's pretty simple for me um 
so all you have to do click on html tag and just go ahead and copy this tag so highlight it and say copy then get back here and you can see you paste in what you've copied from the other side then you have to make sure that you save changes okay make sure that you save changes so i'll hit on save changes um and you do that for the rest of other search engines so uh here with us changes are saved and now you can get back this window and say verify okay so just scroll down and hit on verify so and we verify our website so it will take a few minutes then it will show you that it is now verified yeah so now you can see the website has been verified now you can do the same process for the rest of other search engines for example Bing Yahoo ABCD etc etc so this is how you submit your website to the Google search engine by doing this okay so you can do the same for these others you just click for example Bing you click on this link then you go sign in with your Gmail and everything shall be okay so you also copy the code this code here and you come and paste it here then save then you go back and verify just like how we've done it for the google verification it's not very hard so after this we shall head to such appearance because now we are done with general now such a